Hello everyone, Ben Marmarine here coming to you from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho and um, today I just wanted to let you know that I've um, been lately I've been working on some arm wrestling techniques and I've really gotten into arm wrestling lately and ever since seeing over the top a couple of times and arm wrestling at least one or two guys in the last couple of years it's been kind of an experience and I wanted to uh, let you know what kind of training I've been doing lately so let's get to it so I have here my lifeline chest expander and as you can see from right here is my trusted back grips attached to one of the handles because when I do want to arm wrestle somebody I want to make sure I got that good nice solid grip and then I just go with what I can do so what I do with this is that I attach it to my door right here. It may not always be the safest one, but I'm gonna have to do it for now. So, so it's locked in place. I got a little trusted table with my mat and my table right here. So what I want to uh, give you guys a notice on is that when I pull this back and I put it move it a little bit, there we go and I tried to get it on the table and I got some light to medium heavy cables here so I'm able to try to work as much as I can and endurance is the key to, uh, one of the keys to really doing this so in a typical workout I would do with this or just standing doing this I would do somewhere between 300 to 500 reps for a workout. So I don't want to try to do 500 reps in every workout. That's kind of pointless. So I want to try to be able to have a rest period and try to have a good hardcore period. So anyway, so what I like to do is that I got my knees since I'm not going to be able to stand here. I don't have a whole lot of space here. So try to keep my elbow on the table have my thing going here and then I just go like this and try to do 25 to 50 reps per arm doing this let me show you on the other side and I know you could probably you could barely even see me but still and then I would like to go right here This is a hell uh, forearm developer and it helps having a fat grip because you want to be able to grip it really, really tight as if you're trying to pull down an opponent and then just go, you can either go like this or try to use our whole body looking to match and just go here. Okay. So what I'm going to do for you right now, I'm just going to give you a demonstration of what one of my workouts looks like, just doing the technique. I'm going to turn my face off a little bit here. And I'm going, to try, I'm going to do up to about 30 reps. I'm not going to do a full-on 50 per arm. I'll just do 30, just so you can get the idea of what I'm doing here. angle here. See if we can try to get a good spot here. And hold on to the table because I don't want to have it keep slipping off of my arm here.
Okay. So as you can tell, I did about 30 per arm, so that's about 60 reps. So typically, I would try to do up to about maybe four, four to five sets per arm. And then sometimes every now and then I like to do curls just to get just partial curls really like so no further than here so you can get and then once you have a good solid grip going BAM so hope you enjoyed that um, one advice I would give is don't always thinking you're doing 500 reps of a workout just think of doing one rep 500 times because you want to try to get that good solid technique whether it's here, whether it's here, or whether it's here, and or do the over the top thing and just BAM! Get a good solid grip and build your tendons, build your muscles, you're good to go. Thank you very much. Hope to see you all soon. Bye.